Okay, now coming to words references, uh, they are also elements of a technical report writing listed in slide number two. Now, various formats have been developed for references, but as an electrical engineer, the IEEE transactions format is best for you. So, go on Google and have a look at I believe transactions format for references and uh, these this format can be used by communication engineers and power engineers in their technical report when they are actually listing references uh, the second point that you have keep in mind you have to keep in mind regarding references is to decide on a sequence such as the order they appear in text so inside your technical report when you are writing text and giving references you will have to actually put you know uh, one or two in this format which is an IEEE transactions format and later on in your technical report in the references section you will have to actually give proper references or write it write those references in a proper manner always give full references such that others may find them so half references quarter references don't work always give full references of a journal paper a technical report somebody's thesis a book or something like that uh, and actually put that references in a full format so other people may find them later on if they want to okay so there are certain references examples uh, given on this slide and they are in IEEE format IEEE is Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers okay so they actually use a references format uh, which is given which are given as examples over here so you will have to put or write your references in your technical report in this way so it is pretty straightforward and always adhere to IEEE transactions format Mukhtalif journals ki mukhtalif formats hoti hai and uh, different journals have different formats and whenever you are sending your paper or your report to that journal they will guide you regarding the references or the reference style that you they use in their journal but for you as bachelor's students always adhere to IEEE transactions format okay so let's go towards slide number 10 